Band D23 members, and welcome. This is going to be an amazing night. I'm Clay Shoemaker from the 2010 Disney Parks Ambassador Team, and I'm really excited to share this night with you. How appropriate that we start everything right here at the Diamond Horseshoe, a very special historical spot right here in the heart of the Magic Kingdom. This is only the beginning, too. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce the creator and founder of D23, Clark. Stephen Clark. D23 first year, and uh, I think uh, it's not just D23 first anniversary, it really is the first anniversary of all of us as a family of fans coming together to celebrate the past, present, and future of uh, Disney. And one of the things that I uh, think about when I think about this day, it's first of all, kind of hard to believe a year went by already. Um, I look back to one of my early Disney fan experiences, and uh, it was actually in 1991. And it was at a uh, fan convention called the Mouse Club. Did anyone, anyone go to the Mouse Club convention in 1991? Bring a bell? No? Is that anyone? Um, I got a chance to meet Mark Davis, Frank and Ollie. Uh, Glenn Keane was talking about uh, the upcoming movie, Beauty and the Beast. And, uh, he drew, uh, he actually drew uh, Mickey Mouse. Today. And then Andres Deja was there. And uh, he was talking uh, about some of the projects he was working on. But uh, what I remember most is getting a uh, drawing of Roger Rabbit, which is pretty cool. But sitting behind me uh, was Dave Smith. And uh, you all know Dave was the artist for the Walt Disney Company. I knew him at the time as the guy from the Disney Channel magazine, magazine which I covered, and I think I still own them all. They're all sitting in the attic somewhere. Um, but uh, I recognized a photo from the trivia column that he had. And uh, so I, I got the uh, nerve to turn around and introduce myself. And he was a very friendly fellow, great guy. If you know Dave, you know what a fantastic guy he is, and a, he's such a tremendous asset to all the company. Uh, he was kind enough to invite you know, a very young Disney fan to uh, the Walt Disney Studios uh, for a tour. And so I went and got to see the archives and, and see the studio a lot. But the one thing that I remember was my very first impression of the Disney Studio in Burbank. And if anyone's been there, has anyone been to the Disney Studio? Yeah. And you know it's very campus-like, green grass, big shady trees. And the first thing I saw was this school was, you know, very tiny looking older gentleman dressed in all white, white hair, white beard, and the custodian was just sweeping up uh, you know, on the street very much like you know, this morning. And across the way there was a squirrel, and the squirrel sort of scampered over to it, paused, ran up his leg, started eating something out of his fanny pack and looked up at him, and then off the squirrel went and I thought, I've arrived at Disney. I mean, <laughs> I never did it like that before in my life. But anyway, the point of this little story is that the people who run D23, first of all, it's a very small team, and I'll introduce most of them to you today. Um, we're all Disney fans in our own right, and you know, I never would have dreamed back in 1991 sitting there having a chance to watch, you know, Disney Legends, Past, Present, and Future, talking about this great company. I never would have dreamed I'd be standing on this stage, you know, talking to all of you and sharing the same experiences that really got me excited about Disney all those years ago. So um, that's really what this is all about. And I'd like everyone to uh, help you guys. Is that another champagne? My not So we'll pretend. You won't pretend I will pretend. Uh, anyway, here's a toast to D23, our first anniversary, uh, to all the great, exciting adventures we've had together uh, so far in the first year, and much, much more to come in the coming years. So, cheers, cheers to D23. Cheers. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I will be having a glass of champagne later, I promise you. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to share a few things with you uh, while you while you enjoy dinner. And please feel free to get up, get more food. You're not going to bother me. Uh, make yourself comfortable. Uh, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to take a look back a little more than a year ago when we introduced that sort of cryptic campaign, uh, RU23. And what was great about it is that, like I said, we have such a small group of people working on D23 that so it was much easier to keep a secret than you might think. So, uh, you know, sometimes when there's you know, large divisions involved in, in, in projects, sometimes, you know, word gets out, people get excited, they talk about what they're working on. But at the Disney Studio, you know, we had these RU23 posters up. You might remember them. And there were senior executives walking around a lot 
saying, is that your project? What is this thing? Is that yours? Is it yours? No one can figure out what it was, except for the few people that were actually in the know. Um, but what was, what, what was the most fun for the D23 team was actually seeing what you guys were talking about on the internet as far as your guesses of what D23 was or was going to be. So I thought I'd share a few of them with you in case you haven't seen them before. And if anyone is brave enough to raise your hand and let me know that you were the one that guessed, I'd love to know. But um, first and foremost, um, it was not uh, the number 23 movie of Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> not a Disney movie, not G or PG, I'm sure it was. You can't see that small like R. Um, so, no, not that. Flight of the Navigator turns 23 this year. Well, quite a bit, that's true. It's a great movie, and uh, probably not one that would be celebrating the 23rd anniversary of, but one of the guesses. Um, it's the decision to give Disney California Adventure Restroom build a building a 23 street address when all neighboring addresses are factors of two. <laughs> would anyone take credit for that one? <laughs> um, interesting guess. Um, hey, 23 is one of the watch numbers. And uh, it is indeed one of the lost numbers, the second to last one. And does anyone now who watches lost know what 23 represents? Yeah? Jack Shepard? Yeah. Okay. I kind of heard that, but good answer. Uh, <laughs> um, the other one was the 23rd anniversary of Pixar. I'm sure that's what it has to do with it. Pixar is something definitely worth celebrating. Uh, could this mean free park tickets for everyone born in 1986? <laughs> that is highly unlikely. <laughs> uh, some kind of contortion of binary code. I don't even know what binary code is, so we'll move on. Uh, this one, I have it from a very reliable source. The 23 is a DVC, uh, ownership, partnership of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, and is going to be a regional-based entertainment and timeshare facility that caters to the Disney fan. Okay, no. And uh, that very reliable source, not so reliable. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh, so those are the guesses. So, you know, uh, so no one, no one gave any of those guesses? No one's going to this one? Um, the next thing I kind of wanted to share with you was uh, something just a little fun. I'm sure you're all familiar with the launch campaign for D23, the expo campaign, you know, made for you and the characters and all of us. Well, we thought it would be fun today to share with you some of the ad campaigns that didn't make it um, into our launch or into the expo. And uh, let's not take too many pictures of these. <laughs> 123 years of magic, we thought it was a little bit more this time. Year 24 million dreams, so we'll a little more than we could show in our first year. Maybe next year I'll be our first. The worst kept Disney secret. <laughs> the, the DVC folks were a little uh, prickly about that one. Uh, I thought this was the best one, but no one got the message, so... Uh, the most beautiful fan club ever sold. That's the one on my uh, office wall. Did we not be buy it? Please do. Tell you <laughs> if the shoe fits, wear it. And it even was charging too much for the rights to this event. Uh, even better than a star flat. I mean, you got to admit, D23 is better than a star flat, especially if you don't smoke a pipe. So, I hope you agree. Fans are friends, not food. <laughs> Please join now, we're Nervous Rex. That was our uh, mantra for the first couple months of D23. We'll make a fan out of you. You know, we can do that. Can we make sure that we, uh, yeah, make a note of that. Uh, and we got no straight. Unfortunately, the legal department got a hold of this one, and, <laughs> um, and section 4.A says strings may or may not be attached, and as soon as they saw that, we're like, this is not going to work again, so we moved on. So anyway, just a little bit of fun stuff that we uh, came up with. Um,